friends and family. I'm here for a reading today. This is going to be a channeled collective message. So this is going to be for all signs. Um, what's coming through is the energy of someone doing a truth spell on a chosen one. And so they did a truth spell on a chosen one, which again, we're all chosen. Um, but someone who's a light worker, who is truly on their mission. And someone did a truth spell on them. Um, however, it's like this person, right? They were seeing this light worker, a chosen one, like, no, no, we need to expose them and this and that. And so they did a truth spell. What they didn't realize was like that light worker or the chosen one, their light was actually reflecting that person's shadows. And so they projected a whole idea onto this light worker or person, you know, uh, the mirroring effect. And then it led them to do a truth spell. Then what happened was um, it's like that truth spell actually pushed you forward in life. Okay, and so we're going to take a look into what that is for you. If you would like a personal reading, a one on one personal session, or Akashic Records, check out the box below. It has my website and my email. But yeah, it's like weapons may form, but they won't prosper. If anything, it leads you to the lion's den. It leads you exactly, you know, where it is that God had wanted you anyway. Um, what's also coming through is your higher self made a soul contract with this person. So, oh, I have so many chills right now. Intuitive Awakening, Avalon Priestess. So, and that's the thing. It's like our human, right? Our human, 144, as soon as I say that, could get pissed off or mad of just like, how could this person do this? Betrayal, right? We, we fall into all of these lower energies or um, victimness, which I'm not saying that like you deserved it or anything, like F that, right? But... What's coming through is your higher self knew this would happen because your higher self knew exactly what it would lead you to. And this person learned a lesson in that as well. So your higher self and this person's higher self knew this would happen before you even, uh, before it even happened, right? You, you came here with that decision. And so for, this is what's coming through for some of you that have been through that type of experience. Um, it's like your higher self actually gave the consent, right? Which you learned lessons too in that. That person learned lessons and it, ref it uh, propelled you forward, okay? What do we have here for the child message on this truth spell? Telepathy. What do we have for the child message? Sacred gratitude. You do have hostilities on the bottom of the deck, okay? Conflict unrest. Telepathy. Sacred gratitude. You have balance and you have brave spirit. You have beautiful change, okay? So this is the balance card. You have brave spirit. You are balanced, okay? And it's like whatever this person was trying to point out about you, your light and your dark is truly, truly in union and is truly in balance. So maybe they try to point out like shadow energies of yours, but it's like, Again, like whatever they were projecting onto you, it was more of like their own consciousness. You have brave spirit, you know, so you have been brave during this. You have telepathy, sacred gra gratitude, reverent appreciation and prayer. Um, for some of you, you could have prayed through this. Um, also just be in gratitude when it comes to this. I'm also getting the Hopono Hopono energy, all right, which is the Hawaiian prayer of forgiveness. Why do we have telepathy, sacred gratitude, balance and brave spirit? The authority of spirit. And then you have fairy energy. Growth, growth, expansion, and a flowering. Okay, this allowed you to grow. Your higher self. And it's like, we can get upset with people. Jesus and Judas. Jesus knew what Judas was going to do. He knew that. And... We're not going to go into like how he knew that, but maybe his higher self just knew what that contract was. Okay. Um, your higher self knew this would happen. And so this is coming through for those of you who maybe don't understand why it happened. Your higher self agreed to that lesson and gave consent to that lesson. It's so specific that coming in, but you have the authority of spirit. What did this do? It taught you your authority. Prayer. Okay. Your words are powerful. Um, this brought you closer to God. This brought you closer to spirit, to God, um, opened your heart. Look at this. Like, 
When it comes to those types of situations, that opens your heart. And you're either going to open your heart and close off to the rest of the world due to betrayal and things like that, or you're going to take it as a learning experience and you're going to grow from it. Not only did you grow in your spiritual authority, you grew as a person and your heart expanded. And so this is for those of you who maybe have been through this and wondering, like, why did that happen? This is why. On a, on a higher level, this is why. You have the path of the gods, decisions, meetings, future plans, okay? You are on a higher path, okay? And this person was projecting onto you, but both of your higher selves signed up for this. And it worked out for your highest good in the end, okay? What do we have from the Blue Messiah deck? Soul travel and soul vessel, Okay, for some of you, you do have light beings and portals on the bottom of the deck over there. This feels very parallel timeline, okay? So this could have even been like some sort of parallel timeline. What do we have for the collective? You have the Queen of Swords. This is you holding up your sword, your authority of spirit, okay? And so, you know, someone does a truth spell on either someone who's already saying the truth or already in their authentic truth. You could do that. It could work. But it worked for their highest good. So you actually rose in your spiritual authority. You rose in your consciousness. Your heart opened. All right? And this person learned their own lesson too. We have Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, and Forward of Movement. Why the Queen of Swords? Why the Two of Cups? Why the Movement? You have Page of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Page of Cups, okay? For some of you, you've had, like, these energies here try to hold you down. It also could have been more than one person here. Page of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Why Page of Cups with movement? You walked away into your Ten of Cups and your Ten of Pentacles. Weapons may form, but they will not prosper in the intention it is that they formed in. So it's like, you know, weapons in form and they will not prosper. If you ever felt like God allowed it to prosper in any way, oh baby, it was working out for your highest good anyway, okay? You have the Eight of Cups, you have the Ten of Cups. For some of you, your, through this happening, actually led you straight into your life purpose and led you into a divine union. 55 as soon as I say that. Ten of Cups. Or your happy life with the Ten of Cups there. You do have Ten of Pentacles. Why the Eight of Cups with the Ten of Cups? You have Two of Swords. You have the Page of Swords over here. Okay, you're very protected. You're very protected from that of which you do not see as well. Okay? Uh, especially for those of you like extrasensory perception and the telepathy. You feel it before it happens. You feel it before it happens. Why the two of swords with the page of swords? Yeah, you have the empress over here, okay? You're very protected. Very, very protected. Even from that of which you do not see. Fertility. Why do we have fertility? Why do we have fertility? You do have King of Cups. You have the Five of Cups. Okay, someone is sad over here. My Five of Cups with the King of Cups. Someone feels blocked off from you. What is the collective energy here? You don't want their cup. Knight of Cups. Judge this person's under judgment, and you don't want their cup. And they're sad about that. Why Knight of Cups in reverse for the collective's energy? Knight of Swords in reverse. You're, you're not playing the games anymore. Right? Whatever this person's energy was projecting onto you, you're like, nope, I'm not accepting that energy, even energetically. I'm not accepting it. Um, I don't want any BS. Okay, with the Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. Why Knight of Cups and Knight of, Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, you're not accepting any of it over here. Two of Pentacles. As soon as I say that, I get a message, okay? What is this Ten of Swords? Yeah, look at this. You have Temptation over here. Okay. You are not going to fall into any of this temptation energy, right? It could be even tempting to fall into the lower emotions and energies. Tempting to, um, you have wisdom over here too. 
this taught you a lesson. You know, when it comes to these energies, are you going to stoop down to their level? Are you going to stoop down to their level? Are you going to remain in, in their level, right? Can't even be fear. Are you going to remain in fear even in the midst of this? 10, 10, as soon as I say that. Wisdom. What is this person's energy towards the collective? They feel left out. They do feel left out over here, okay? They feel left out. They feel like you are receiving. You have justice. You have the sun. Okay, this person feels like you're receiving, look at that magic, Isis, six of um, swords. This person feels like you are receiving your justice because of what they did. One, four, four, as soon as I say that. And I have chills. It's unfortunate, this situation. It's really unfortunate. But both of your higher selves chose this. And it was a parallel timeline. It was not, this person was stuck like in that timeline, honestly, is what I'm seeing it. And this person was seeing you through a perspective of a parallel timeline and they projected onto you. All right, you are receiving because of this magic ISIS, okay? That's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I'm gonna be grabbing some cards of advice. Again, if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or anything else, check out the box below. And I'm saying this because Akashic Records. Silent understanding. I have so many chills right now, collective. And that's the thing. It's, uh, I was talking about this uh, with someone last night of how, um, and with fairness, people, I think, can dive too much into past life energy and the ungroundedness and stuff like that. Like, don't, it's a balance. Don't dive too, too deep into that waters you know those waters but hidden knowledge silent understanding akashic records you can't help but understand especially when you know thyself when you are connected with source when you know your higher self when you've traveled through your own depths you just cannot help but understand when it comes to like these types of situations not that you deserved it but it's it's for your freedom you know um your freedom is releasing uh, resentment and, and hatred and all of these different things and the victimness. It's not for them. It's for you. It's for you. This was in the Akashic records. There was a soul contract between you and this person and your higher self gave this person consent to do what it is that they did. So you did choose it because you knew what it would do. You knew that it would actually upgrade you spiritually and there's all of this beautiful stuff coming in for you. This was a timeline jump for you from this person. Okay, bottom of the deck is creation. What else do we have for this reading? Healing the earth, love, humility, respect. Okay, uh, and I feel like that's your energy over here, collective. Healing the earth, love, humility, and humbling. It is humbling when you... Um, have to forgive on that level. It's heart-wrenching and opening, gut-wrenching. But if we see it from a higher perspective, um, it's very humbling. All right, And it opens you up truly to higher love. To forgive on, on very deep levels, that opens the heart. Um, all right, and I'm going to grab some more cards of advice. And again, you're a light worker chosen when you have Mother Mary, emotional healing, Merlin. So you could definitely be healing from this. And I do think that whatever this was, like that's traumatic, you know, um, for someone to do something like that is traumatic. That is trauma. So heal from this too. But your healing, like that's alchemy. Okay, you're turning this whole experience to gold, um, to your highest benefit. What else do we have? Freedom, power, origins, okay? And then you have energy field adjustment. Cleanse your energy field. We're going to grab one more card from this deck. And just a reminder, I do have the three-day goddess retreat. It's going to be an online goddess retreat. Every single session is recorded, so even if you cannot attend live, um, just feel free to join. Soul expansion and inner Bridget. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power, Bridget. You have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. Silent understanding. You can't help but understand 144. You know, and so it's this is very high vibrational because this is something where, again, 
It actually is kind of traumatic. You're a beautiful soul because you just cannot help but understand. It doesn't mean, do not bypass, set the boundaries and stuff like that. Um, but you truly are like rising through the situation. A bottom deck is devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. And for anyone, you know, spiritual journey not to go through such betrayal or whatever it is, those types of situations, and to remain in unity and in oneness and forgiveness and love, that is devotion. You know, mo most people can't do that or have a hard time doing that or fall while doing that, you know? And so understand your inner strength. You have such inner strength um, and recognize that you have the power. That's what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings.